Hey everyone, this is Mr. Lawai English Tech. Today I have got something for you. IQ11S. The new product is IQ11S, which is an improved version of the IQ11. It sits between the IQ11 5G and IQ11 Pro 5G. The latest offering packs most of the same specification as its other two siblings. The first change to the device is the main camera with a 50 megapixel Sony IMX 866 main sensor like the Vivo X90 and X90S. The second innovation of the gadget is the battery and charging. It got a capacity of 4700 mAh and a charging capacity of 200 W, which is really impressive. Yeah, of course, we will talk about it later in the video. But now we have to check what we get out of the box. This is the IQ11S box. After unwrapping it, on the top we can see the phone. But now we put aside this phone and let's see what else we receive below there. So there is a nice card, a SIM injector tool, a transparent phone case which comes with every phone now. In the last we can see a 200 watt charger and a short type C to type C charging cable. Now it's time to have a look at the phone. As I said before, the IQ11S is quite similar to the IQ11 and 11 Pro, which is why the design of this smartphone is as old as the IQ11s. The IQ11 is made of wagon leather, but this time it comes in a lovely soft green color. The metal frame is attractive and has a squarish appearance. The power and the volume controls are located on the device right side. The top has a microphone cutout and the bottom has a dual nano SIM tray, primary speaker grill and type C charging connector. And yeah, the weight is approximate 210 grams and the sound quality is like this. The IQ11S features a 6.78 inch flat center punch hole Samsung E4 AMOLED display. It has a peak brightness of 1800 nits, a refresh rate of 144 hertz, and a resolution of 2K. This has a flat screen, so the bezels don't look too bulky. And the fingerprint sensor on the IQ11S is built right into the screen to justify its higher price. It has features like BWM and DC along with SDR10 Plus and FSD Plus resolution and a high number of pixels. The one of the important features of this device is its battery capacity which is backed by a 4700 mAh battery unit with support for 200W fast charging along with support for UFCS fast charging protocol. In just 5 minutes of charging, you can play high frame rate gaming for up to 3 hours. That's insane, right? The IQ11S would be a solution for who love playing games and afraid of dying battery fast. So don't worry about it because IQ said the IQ11S battery circle is 1600 times. So if you charge it once a day, it will last for 4 days. This is really crazy. Under the hood, the IQ11S is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which is faster than Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 obviously, right? It packs up to 16GB RAM and 1TB UFS 4.0 storage. It features a VC cooling system on board for heat dissipation. Software-wise, the device runs on Android 13 OS out of the box. The IQ11S has an access linear motor, Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, and 5G of course. When it comes to photography, the IQ11S comes equipped with a triple camera arrangement that consists of a 50 megapixel Sony VCS IMX 866 sensor, a 30 megapixel portrait lens, and uh, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. All three of these lenses are housed within the same housing 
it has a 60 megapixel camera located on the front for taking selfies. I always make sure to record the camera settings when reviewing a smartphone because I know many of my viewers are also interested in these features perhaps because they like to do daily vlogs from the phones or like to go out with friends and take nice photos. I'm recording a video from front camera which is uh, 1080p 30fps and the uh, lens is 60 megapixel from front camera and uh, oh my god it's raining now and I'm walking and I'm not using any external microphone or oh, people are running because it's raining and I'm recording okay so yeah that's it I'm recording a video from back camera which is 4k 30 fps now it's raining really the rain is started but I'm still recording because I have to finish my work right and I'm not using any external microphone okay raining started nice pretty nice okay so you can zoom first this is 0.6s and you can also zoom in to 10x Alright guys, I have to finish this video because it's raining. Okay, you can also run while using back camera and this is the result. I think the stabilization is pretty good. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yeah. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Sales of the IQ 11 has already started in China on July 10 and IQ 11 S comes in three color options of white which has been used for a long time. To be honest I'm kind of bored of this color that's why I bought this green color. This is the second color and there's one more option which is uh, black. And uh, IQ 11 S comes in four variant of 12 GB RAM to 56 GB storage. Second variant is 16 GB RAM to 56 GB. Third variant is 16 GB RAM 512 GB, and the last variant is 16 GB RAM and 1 TB storage. The basic model sells for 3,799 yuan or around 527 USD. And the highest end model sales for 4799 yuan, which is around 665 USD at today's exchange rates. Both phones are presently only available in China, but we anticipate global releases in the coming weeks. The international prices of these models would be slightly higher, mostly because of tax policies. I really hope you enjoy watching my videos and follow this channel to see more of my tech videos and uh, I will catch up with you in the next video. The next video would be Red Magic 8S Pro. Yes. So take care of yourself. Bye.